Papadopoulos, the former Trump campaign advisor. Uh, my guest this morning says the FBI owes America an explanation on how that investigation began. We are back with former South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy. He was the chairman of the House Oversight Committee. He is now a Fox News contributor. And, and Congressman, I want to ask you about a conversation you and I had a couple of months ago, which really went viral after we talked about it. And it was about talking about an informant having a conversation with George Papadopoulos, which you actually saw the transcript, and we have not seen that transcript. It's still classified, and I'm wondering why not. You said that's a game changer, that, that one transcript. It certainly has the potential to be. Why you haven't seen it yet, I, I am lost. Um, I am clueless. It is, uh, it is not that level of classification that's going to impact relationships with our allies. It goes to a fundamental precept we have in this country that when there is exculpatory information, information tending to show a person did not commit a crime, um, that that information is every bit as important as any inculpatory. So the transcripts are important for two reasons. Number one, to buttress that fundamental precept, but also think about all the questions you and your viewers have. Maria, when did the investigation begin? The FBI and the DOJ said it was never intended to investigate the Trump campaign, just Russia. Okay, great. Show us the transcripts. Show us what questions you coached the informants or the cooperating witnesses to ask of the Trump campaign officials. If it's not about the campaign, then you win. You're right. But if you're veering over into the campaign or your questions are not solely about Russia, then you've been misleading us for two years. The good thing about transcripts, they don't have to remember. All you got to do is read them. Yeah. They don't have bad memories. <laughs> no, Just release the transcripts and we can tell for ourselves when it began and what it was about. Now, I want you to know that I spoke with George Papadopoulos last night because I was wanting to get ready for this interview because you have alluded to this. You haven't told us enough. You haven't told us much because I know it's classified and you can't. But I know you saw it. George Papadopoulos told me last night that the memo and the transcript that you're referring to is from a conversation that he had with Stephen Halper. And it was in London. It was at the Sofitel Hotel in London where Stephen Halper said something to him like, well, you know, Russia has all these uh, transcripts, uh, all these emails of Hillary Clinton. And, you know, when they get out, that'd be really good for you. Right. Would you help? That'd be really good for you and, and the Trump campaign if all those emails got out. Right. And George Papadopoulos answered and said, that's crazy. Are you kidding me? That would be treason. People get hanged for stuff like that. I would never do something like that. That is the transcript that George Papadopoulos told me is still classified. Now, I know you can't admit if that's it or not, but let me just say, if that is basically the conversation, that should have been given to the FISA court, right? That should have made public to at least show us that George Papadopoulos had that question asked of him, and he said, are you nuts? That's treason. Only if you want a justice system that's fair. I mean, that's the only reason it should be produced to a court is if you want a justice system that treats people justly and fairly. That, what you just described, is textbook exculpatory information. It tends to show the person did not commit a crime. A crime, by the way, Maria, he was never charged with. I mean, Papadopoulos was charged with a process crime, but never with colluding with Russia. But, but it also speaks to what the FBI and the department were doing back in 2016. Was their target Russia or was their target the Trump campaign? We're not going to know until you yeah. make the transcripts public. The one you referenced is a single transcript. There are going to be others. Wow. There are going to be others. And that happened in September of 2016. So that was breaking news. That's the transcript. I got the confirmation from Papadopoulos yesterday. Trey, I want to take a short break. Then I've got to ask you about one of your good friends, John Ratcliffe. We've got breaking news on that as well. He withdrew his nomination for the DNI job. We'll be right back with that. 